some new numbers released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and apparently I was underestimating the pay gap. So uh, you know how women typically make less than men do? I always used the number 83 cents to the man's dollar for the same work. I misspoke. That number is for African Americans. For women, they make even less. Women make 70 cents for every dollar earned by a man for the same work. So here are some of the professions that have the worst pay gap. Um, financial managers. Women only make 65.9% of what men make. So men make, uh, on any given week on average, they make $1,504. A woman will make $991. Supervisors of housekeeping and janitorial workers. Women make 64.6% what men make. A woman's uh, paycheck for a given week will be $406. For a man, it would be $756. Insurance sales agents. Women make 64.4% what men make. So a woman's median paycheck would be $665. A man's would be $1,033. Property, real estate, and community association managers. A woman only earns 60.6% of what a man earns. So the woman's median weekly earnings would be $728. The man would be $1,201. And there's a whole tremendous list of all of these different fields where there's the largest pay gap between men and women. So then the question is, how do you address the problem? How do you make it so that you get equal pay for equal work? Well, it's very simple you pass what's called the Paycheck Fairness Act, which would strengthen anti-discrimination laws and basically levy heavy fines on employers who don't pay women equal wages. Now, the act actually was up for a vote not too long ago. In fact, it was last year, and it was filibustered by the Republicans. Stay classy, Republicans. Look, all the Democrats are asking for is that we can have equal pay for equal work. What does it matter what your genitals are if you're doing a, a particular job that has nothing to do with your genitals, right? Is that really unreasonable to ask equal pay for equal work? But apparently uh, we're missing something here because the Republicans did filibuster. And just to put it in perspective for you guys, how big of a difference this makes. The gender wage gap costs the average woman more than $430,000 over her working career. That's enough money to feed a family of four for 37 years. Damn. Damn. God, these are some callous motherfuckers on the Republican side, man. Gee, I wonder if uh, the gender pay gap is something maybe we should do something about. I can't quite figure out.